Today is January 20th. Pastor is saying to us, faith that conquers the world. Our opening scripture comes to the book of 1 John chapter 5, verse 4. For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. The verse above in the Amplified Classic says, For whatever is born of God is victorious over the world. And this is the victory that conquers the world, even our faith. It's talking about faith from God. From his eternal word to our spirit. That's the faith that conquers the world. Romans chapter 12 verse 3 says, God hath dealt to every man the measure of faith. Hallelujah. Then in Romans chapter 10 verse 17 it says, Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. This is why it's important that you expose your spirit to the word. The more you hear or study the word, the more faith comes to you. Faith to rule your world. With that faith, you have dominion over circumstances and victory over the world and its systems. However, faith not expressed won't prevail. You express your faith in words and actions. For the Bible says faith speaks. Rule your world with your faith filled Rule your world with your faith-filled words. Your words have force. They have energy. If someone says to you, but you've been speaking the word for some time now and nothing is changing, remind them of what the Bible says. If the clouds be full of rain, they empty themselves upon the earth. Ecclesiastes chapter 11 verse 3. Keep speaking the word in faith and watering your clouds with prayers. As you do, the spiritual cloud becomes thick with spiritual water, and nothing can stop the downpour. Blessed be God. Please say this confession with me. The Lord is strong and mighty, and He's with me and in me. I put my trust in Him alone and rest my faith on His word. Irrespective of the challenges in the world today, my faith is the victory that conquers the world. All things are possible to him that believes, and I believe. Therefore, all things are possible to me. Glory to God. For further study, please read 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13, Mark chapter 9, verse 23, and Mark chapter 11, verse 23. For the one year Bible reading plan, please read Matthew chapter 13, verses 44 to chapter 14, verses 1 to 12. And Genesis chapters 46 to 48. For the two year Bible reading plan, please read Matthew chapter 8, verses 1 to 11, and Genesis chapter 20. If you've never received salvation, if you've never received Christ into your heart, if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about, this is your moment. This is your opportunity. To receive the life and nature of God into your heart. It's important. Say these words. Say, oh Lord God. I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe he died for me. I believe God raised him from the dead. And he's alive today. And by my faith in Jesus Christ, I receive him as Lord of my life. I confess Jesus as Lord of my life. And I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord. For saving my soul. I have eternal life now by my faith in Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for giving me a new life. Amen. Praise the Lord. Wonderful.